Hello everybody. Today I'll talk to you about two main drafts or hydrostatic uh, drafts as we refer to them. Last I had left you with this uh, question in which I had highlighted this part of it here. And I had made a note saying that the two main draft may not be the average of the drafts. Now that's only possible if your LCF, that is your longitudinal center of flotation is amidships, around amidships, or the ship is on even keel. So let us just try to figure out what is true main draft, because in all the questions what you will be getting, you will have to refer to your hydrostatic tables and other things, and this is going to be an important step for you to find out your true main draft. You just can't take the averages and call it as a main draft. Now there's a water line, a ship. Of course, it uh, doesn't look like a ship. It's a box, what I'm showing you here. This is your midships. Middle of the ship here. Now here are the drafts, forward and aft. Add, divide by two, that's your main draft. Now, two main draft is measured at center of rotation, not midships. And it may not be the average, as I told you earlier. That's only possible if the uh, the center of rotation is close to midships or the ship is on even keel. And this is your center of rotation. The diagram is a little exaggerated in terms of scale. Now, what is center of rotation? Center of rotation is the center of gravity of water plane area, of water plane area here, and is the point about which the ship heals and trims. So it is on the center line, longitudinal center line, and it may be either forward or aft of midships, depending upon a different type of ships. So, so it can be either forward or aft. The main draft, the true main draft is always measured at center of flotation. Now, let me just show you here in this particular case when forward and draft and aft draft are the same. You have got midships, center of flotation, the mean draft. So the mean draft is your true mean draft or your hydrostatic draft. Now, let me just shift some weights here so that the ship pins. I've not added any weight. I'm just shifting the weight here. Now the ship trims. And as I said, it trims about the center of flotation. And now we have got the ship, some trim, the forward draft, after draft. The difference between them is your trim. Now, if I had to look at the drafts, midships, this would be my draft, midships. That would be the average of forward and after draft. But the draft, as I said, true main draft is taken at center of rotation. So this is, this is what the draft would be at center of rotation. So there is some correction to be applied. Now just getting this line parallel to the keel here and moving it up and that's my average main draft. That is the average of front, forward and aft draft. But the draft, as we said, is at center of rotation. The draft is from this line to D. So there is some correction what we have to apply. This is CX for the after draft. In this case, you can see that if I subtract CX, I get XT here. We apply to the after draft in order to get the true main draft. So CX is the correction what we have to apply to the after draft. So in all these cases, you'll be applying some correction to the after draft in order to get your true mean draft or hydrostatic draft. Now this line here, taking it parallel up along with the forward draft. So the difference between this is your trim. Because now ED is equal to A and C would be your trim. Now 
the shape is something like this so here we talk of perpendiculars forward perpendicular and after perpendiculars i'm not going to the, the definitions of it so you have forward perpendicular here after perpendicular and the distance between these two perpendiculars we refer to it as lbp that is your length between perpendiculars now i'm taking up this line where the forward draft goes this is your lbp now in this triangle cea c is your trim and e to a is your lbp now from x to cf is your longitudinal center of rotation the distance from the after perpendicular lcf and cx is the direction what has to be applied and here lcf is the distance from after perpendicular if you look at this smaller triangle here cx cf cx is the correction to the after draft and x to cf x cf is the distance of center of rotation from after perpendicular now these two triangles are basically similar if you look at it, angle 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 and using the properties of uh, similar triangles one side divided by the side other side that is your c is divided by cx is equal to ea by xcf and just substituting that uh, c is your trim cx is your correction ea is your lbp and lcf so we get this formula here that the correction to the draft aft is lcf into trim divided by lbp and this is what you will be applying to all your questions what are there when you are be, when you will be uh, re referring to some hydrostatic tables data is of a ship and here as you can see that uh, this case that correction is to be subtracted from the after draft so the after draft correction can be plus or minus trim is by stern you subtract if the trim is by head you have to add in older time the 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 distances were given from midships but this fundamentals are the same same formula to find out your correction to the draft but there the corrections are being applied to the mid draft now here is this question what i have come up with so that now you understand how to go about calculating your mean draft using all the things what we have talked about ppc freshwater allowance and dockwater allowance and other things here now you look at it here true mean draft is asking you to find out true mean draft so what you do is you find out your your mean draft then you go and uh, to your uh, hydrostatic tables your data of the ship and there you get lcf here and my main draft is 6.8 so i'll have to interpolate to get my main draft whatever the my main draft is here because 6.835 is not here so i'll interpolate it i'll not tell you how to go about interpolating this part of it so i'll interpolate it and i get my lca for the mean draft here the mean draft is draft draft plus correction to the after draft the formula for that was trim into lcf divided by lbp again i know the trim i have already calculated my lcf i should know my lbp 
So again, those are given in the hydrostatic tables. Data of your ship. You'll go look into this. Get your perpendicular uh, LBP, that is your uh, length between your perpendiculars. And then you substitute all these values into this formula and you get your correction here. And applying the correction, as I said, plus or minus, in this case, the term was by turn. So you subtract, and this is your hydrostatic mean draft. So this is how you calculate your mean draft. And that question, of course, nothing was given, so we just took the average. Now, if I had to load 300 metric tons in this, what would be the change in mean draft? This is just to explain to you how you go about finding out your TPC and other things. So, I again go back into the tables. The TPC is given here. Now, all these, all this data, what is given to us in our hydrostatic tables of a ship are, is all in salt water. So, I will try to get my TPC for this draft here my aerostatic draft that I'll have to interpolate and I'm not sure how to interpolate it so you can do the interpolation here but this is your TPC in salt water and if you remember when we talked about TPC we talked about it changes with density so now this TPC when you're in dock water of anything other than salt water then you'll have to convert it for the dock water, whatever you are in. So here, TPC divided by the salt water density into density of the dock water. And that is your TPC in dock water of density 1.012. And what would be the sinkage? TPC is 10 per centimeters. So this would be your sinkage in dock water. So your draft after loading will be plus the sinkage, mean draft plus the sinkage. So this is how you uh, go about converting if you, if you had any problems about uh, any question on TPC from one density to another density. Now she has to load to her summer draft on entering salt water. So now what will be her, what, how, what can you, how much can you load here in this uh, density of 1000? 12. So, you will go to your tables again, figure out what is your fresh water allowance. Of course, I'm just showing you part of it. It could, it could be given to you somewhere else, known as fresh water allowance. But anyway, you'll have to uh, refer to your tables, the data, ship's data, hydrostatic tables, and get the value for fresh water allowance here. And Using the formula, dock water allowance, you get dock water allowance here. Now, what is a summer draft? Again, that will be available to you in the ship's particulars. You get your particulars here. You come to know that your summer is draft is here. So, how much can you load? Plus your sinkage, what you are allowed by the dock water allowance. So, this is the draft what you can load up to in dock water of 1.012. Now, cargo loaded, how much cargo can you load to reach your summer marks? Well, so we had already loaded 300 tons here and after loading was, this was my draft. This is my summer. I get my Displacement from the ship's particulars. This is my summer draft. This is my displacement. Now, my draft 6.967 in this. I look at the tables. As I said, everything is given for salt water. I will figure out what is the displacement of salt water in at this particular draft. So this is my displacement for salt water at this draft. 
if I divide it by 1025 that I get my underwater volume multiplied by the density I get the displacement in the density of 1000 so this is my displacement at this draft in dock water so what, what do I load the difference between the summer and what, whatever is the displacement here and I should be able to load this amount. So now I hope uh, you know, you have understood how to go about finding out your mean uh, draft, that is your true mean draft, your hydrostatic draft, how you go about using your TPC, freshwater allowance, uh, dock water allowance and to calculate displacement. Thank you. I will continue next with the transfer stability. Till then, have a good day.